morning, everybody. I've had a few questions on how to install the Motion Blue build, so I'm just going to show you real quick. Try and keep it simple. I just recorded this whole video and realized I wasn't recording audio, so I'm doing it a second time. <laughs> but that'll pr probably be good for you because this will go a little more smoothly. Basically, once you download the Motion Blue base, you're going to have this, okay? You're just going to right click on that, go to 7-zip, extract files. <clears throat> and then you're going to click here and choose where you want to put it. Put it on any hard drive that you have enough space. Obviously, that space is up to you. I can't tell you where you should put it, but you can put it anywhere. You can put it in its own folder. So if you want to, go into your hard drive uh, and create a folder, call it Motion Blue, and then select it in here. Select OK, and it'll extract the build to that folder. Once you do that, um, this is what you're going to have. Okay, it should look just like this. Um, I suggest that you read these, look through them, get acquainted. There's a lot of really good information in there. Uh, it's not necessary, but it definitely can help. Okay, as far once that's installed, it's ready to install some games. Okay. So you can see inside your ROMs folder, it'll look like this, but they're going to be empty. Okay, mine are all full. I've already installed the packs, but um, I'll show you how to do it yourself real quick. You're just going to go to wherever you have a pack, go to the website and download a pack. Okay, say Nintendo, NES. Okay, you're going to go, uh, let's not use Nintendo because that's a media only pack. I'm not going to actually install it so I guess it doesn't really matter you're gonna go to this one you want you click it or right click if it's a RAR file use WinRAR if it's 7-zip use 7-zip um, I'm actually I actually think that the default Windows 11 will even extract it it really doesn't matter which program you use um, you're just going to right click on it go to your program of choice click on extract files okay and then you're gonna go to that hard drive wherever you installed the folder okay mine's an AM plus I'm gonna go to the ROMs folder and I'm gonna select the ROMs folder I'm not gonna go inside the ROMs folder you don't need to extract it to its own folder like this is ABC 80 if you just click on ROMs and select OK, it's going to extract it to the correct place. It's going to be the same with every pack. Extract it to the ROMs folder. Okay. Once that's done, you can go back to AM Plus here. Track mode, here's your um, EXE. You're going to want to drag that down here somewhere or make a shortcut, put it on your desktop. Okay, that's how you're going to start the program. If you have an Xbox One controller, you're ready to play. You can just click it, open it up, and go. Okay. Now, the only thing that uh, I will say is, for me, some of the controls are backwards, A and B. Um, it's really set up kind of like a Nintendo controller where the, control, the controls are backwards. I like to switch those. I will show you guys how to do that real quick. Hopefully you can't hear all my system sounds. I, I turned them all the way down. So you're just gonna you're just gonna press start. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. I'm just waking up. My voice is really scratchy. I apologize. You're gonna go to controls. Now to do this, I always like to use my keyboard. Um, and the one thing I'll tell you is never delete the keyboard input. If you want to change your input, um, use the keyboard to do it. Always leave the keyboard input. That way it's a fallback. If you mess up your uh, controller's setup, you can use the keyboard to fix it. Now, what I did is I went back in here. So back is just like the B button, right? It had it set up to be the A button. So all I did is I went here. I clicked remove input to the joy zero or whatever button it was and then I went to add input and I switched it to the button that I wanted 
Okay. And you can do this uh, with any any button combination in here, okay? This is going to be just basically for you to navigate. This isn't going to be inside games. This is just to navigate a tracked mode. Okay, and you can look down here. I'll also show favorites. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Add remove favorites. So you can go in here and set your own button, and when you hit that button on a game, it will add that game to your favorites menu. You still have to generate that ROM list. So after you add that, okay, let's see. I'm not sure which button that is, but it's F on your keyboard. So I'm just going to use F. You can set whatever you want. If you go in here, you can look. See, there's my keyboard input. I don't want to remove that. So then you can go to a game. I'm just going to go... consoles mega CD okay I don't know what game this is I'm just gonna use this I'm gonna press F That's what I to add it to favorites right? okay I haven't actually tested this on this system but it should work just fine then we're gonna go to utilities we're gonna go to generate favorites hit the button and then wait, see, it's generating a favorites list for that, um, uh, with that game in it. Now I'm going to restart okay, a track well, mode. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to so favorites, and there's my game, okay? And you can add as many games as you like. Okay, I think that's all for now. Um, I mean, if, I'll, I'll tell you that you can press select from any, anywhere. I think I've mentioned this several times, but you, this is where you're going to change your themes and stuff. You can change all your theme options. Mess around, see, for each theme right here. Mess around with that and set it up however you like. Uh, let us know in the group or in the comments below.